So hygienists ask me all the time, I have so much to do in my hour-long appointment, how do I manage it all and how do I split up the time that I have to make sure I'm accomplishing everything? So one of the concepts that we teach a lot is 20-20-20 and the way that this rolls out is if you imagine your hygiene appointment, your 60-minute hygiene appointment divided into three parts and each are 20 minutes long, then here's how this would uh, play out. The first 20 minutes is really your time for diagnosis, relationship building, reviewing the medical history. This is the time that you really want to focus on what is happening with the patient now. And honestly, this is the most important piece of this hygiene visit. This is where you're establishing rapport. This is where you're really identifying where you can contribute to the patient's overall health. So here are the things that should be accomplished in that first 20 minutes. Uh, medical history review. Obviously, meeting, greeting, and building relationship with the patient. Complete perio exam, oral cancer screening, intro photography, uh, screening for restorative needs, reviewing the restorative treatment plan, and presenting any incomplete treatment. And really just kind of putting the whole picture together. Once we've established where the patient is today, then we can make a good decision on where to go next. So, assuming the patient is healthy, then next is where we're going to begin the scaling and polishing portion, this next 20 minutes. And really one thing to think about is if you're spending a lot more than 20 to 25 minutes on that scale and polish, the patient may need something other than a single prophy. So if you have patients, for example, that have a lot of stain and you're spending 40 to 45 minutes removing that, maybe they would benefit from a second prophy. If you have patients that have uh, undiscovered periodontal disease, then it might be taking you more than 20 to 25 minutes. And what often happens then is some of the diagnostics get left out. So the last 20 minutes are really uh, the time for the doctor exam, for wrapping up the visit, making the next appointment, making sure the patient doesn't have any remaining questions about treatment that was recommended. But here's the thing. Aside from those first 20 minutes, right, the things that we want to do in the very beginning to establish what it is that we're accomplishing, the rest of the time is very fluid. So what we recommend is after that first 20 minutes, right, you've collected all the data, you, uh, you've taken x-rays if necessary, call for the doctor exam then. And let your doctors know, hey, we're gonna start calling for the exam earlier before we start scaling to give you a little bit more time to get in for that hygiene visit. So as soon as you complete all that data collection, you have your intro photos, they're up on the screen, you're ready, then you go ahead and call the doctor for the exam begin your scaling time. Doctor can come in and interrupt scaling time at any point, right? No problem. This eliminates any kind of waiting for the doctor exam. And then let's say you've done the scaling and you're getting ready to polish. Then if you still don't have the doctor exam, call again, right? This is the doctor's cue that, hey, I'm beginning to wrap up. It's time to come on in and do the exam. This is going to help you eliminate a lot of those last minute exams, running over and waiting for patients. So I encourage you to use the 2020 and see how your appointment flow improves.